Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be my kind of festive Q&A. So I asked you guys if you wanted to send me some questions. It could be festive or non-festive related. So I've got them on my phone ready to go and I thought I would just do my makeup at the same time. Uh, I'm not going to talk through the makeup. Uh, I'm just going to do it and yeah, answer your questions. So yeah, I hope you're interested. And if you want to know my answers to some of your questions, then please keep on watching. Okay, so the first question is from Nina and actually she's asked three questions. So the first one is... Do you have special Christmas traditions slash routines? Um, I wouldn't say in our family yes, they have traditions. There is one thing that always happens every year. Um, so when we kind of wake up in the morning and go downstairs, we always have the exact same CD playing, which is kind of like our Christmas tradition morning CD which is, so it's actually this CD right here. So this is Christmas with Nat King Cole. And it's, I don't know why, we've always had it right from children that this is the CD we have when we come downstairs in the morning, first thing. So kind of how our routine goes throughout the day is, and it's kind of the same whether we've got people around or not. So this year it was meant to be originally, so actually tonight I go home to my parents, it's Christmas Eve today. Um, then there was meant to be my nan and gramp coming and also my sister and her husband um, potentially coming later on in the day that's now not happening, it's literally just me, mum and dad which is nice, it'd be nice chilled kind of a bit more relaxed um, instead but we're going to actually, they're all going to come around for New Year's Eve instead which would be nice um, so usually how it works is we all come downstairs, we've got that CD going we usually have Bucks Fizzle too in the morning to kick off the morning exchange for presents um then go into breakfast and kind of get ourselves ready for the day i probably won't get that dressed up because it's just the three of us i'll be quite, maybe quite a lazy day yeah we exchange a few presents have breakfast get ready for the day then morning we also go and take our dog our family dog for a walk safi um so that's kind of what usually happens and actually it's funny because this year where we walk safi there is, it's kind of long, it's like a pathway, and people can go, they go running there, they go, you can just go for random walks, people take their dogs there a lot, and they've got the kind of like the, like not like an obstacle course, but they've got the exercise things as you go, um, and they have got a set of monkey bars, and I'm determined over the time where I am on a break at home at my parents, I'm going to complete those monkey bars. At the moment, I tried last time, I can just swing from the first one and I can't get myself across to the second. But I'm determined to kind of make that my mission. Every time I walk, and walk with the dog, I'm going to do that. So, hopefully, by the time I come back here, I'll be able to do the monkey bars. It sounds silly, but it's just something I keep seeing. I'm like, I'm determined, I'm going to do that. Anyway, then we come back from the dog walk, have a few more drinks. Maybe a little bit of um, party food type stuff. Um, and then we'll exchange the rest of the gifts that we have between us. So it's just three of us, so it's just be a few um, gifts to exchange. And then we will go into lunch, the big lunch. Um, I, for lunch, just have... Sometimes I'll get a meat alternative, so something like a nut roast. But to be honest, the vegetables... So we have like sprouts, carrots, broccoli, cauliflower, like potatoes, roast potatoes, parsnips, stuffing... Once you've had all that, and because we usually have a few couple like party bits to beforehand, I don't really need anything else. That kind of fills me up quite nicely. Um, so that'll do. We probably won't have. There'll be op probably a pudding option, but like I said, most likely you won't have it. And then kind of the rest of the day, we kind of do a bit of the classic Christmas TV watching. So our things we like to watch are um, the Strictly Special Christmas Special. The Call the Midwife Christmas special was a good one. Um, Mum obviously likes to watch East Enders and Crying Street. I'm not unless a huge fan of those ones, so I won't. But um, definitely want to watch Gavin and Stacey this year. But yeah, we just watch kind of the fun, festive TV programmes that are going to be on. Um, and then to be honest, dinner's usually very light. Sometimes it can be leftovers, sometimes like a little bit of party food, like you know, like you get these mini vegetable string rolls or um, like little vegetable smosers or something like that, like just small to kind of pick at because we won't want to eat anything else. And then we may watch a film in the evening. I know tonight when I get back we're going to watch Love Actually because I have not watched that yet. 
Um, that's kind of our Christmas routine day. Um, and probably a bit of a few games as well. So we like to play card games a lot, and our favourite, well, the one I like to play a lot is Grid. Um, so that's a good card game. Card game. We like to play quite a few of those. Car, um, grid. Chase the Ace is a good one. Mum likes Ace to King, but I'm never sure how to play that one really. So that's kind of our Christmas routine. Um, and she also, the second question she asked was how we all make up look like. Well, because there isn't really, we're not having like a big family round, that's kind of more New Year's Eve, I'll probably go quite simple. And she was, even when people are around, I don't go over the top. So what I'm about to do now won't be how I have it tomorrow. Um, I might do a little bit of eyeshadow and keep it quite like nude on the lip. Just because... Like I said, we've got haven't really got people around, so I'll probably just be a bit more cosy than dressed up. I know some people go really, really dressed up, but if we had like like more people around, then probably I would do. But because it's just us three, I won't. I'll probably keep it quite cosy and stuff. I'll probably wear my kind of dungaree dress that I love to wear with black top. Um, but yeah, so makeup wise, it probably be quite natural looking. Um, Maybe like a simple brown smoky eye. I'll probably go nude lip. Maybe a red if I'm really feeling it. But I'll probably just go a nude lip in all honesty. Um, and the third question was what plans do you have for the holidays? Um, to be honest I don't really have many plans. So I know mum for one of my Christmas presents has booked in for me to have a pedicure. So I'm kind of excited about that. I don't really do much with my hands just because of where I work. They're going to get ruined easily. A lot of the girls have acrylics. Um, which I just find you have to keep on going back. And I don't It's a lot of maintenance for me. Well, it's not because they're easy to do. But I find if they break, it would just annoy me. I don't want to get them all off. So um, I don't really bother. I might probably stick some fake nails over the holidays on. Just because it's just the easier option for me. Um, probably mostly just going to be chilling. We'll go and see family. Like I said, people are coming around New Year's Eve. So we won't do anything crazy New Year's Eve, we'll obviously drinks, dinner, we like to watch Jules Holland on um, Christmas Eve and then uh, that's always a good one to watch. We'll play games and stuff like that, uh, but because like leading up to Christmas I always try and um, do more shifts than I usually would do. I just want to quite like to chill and what usually happens is I get ill over Christmas because I've suddenly stopped. And my body realises that she now's the time to get ill. Um, but yeah, so I probably, I haven't really got anything else planned. I need to go and visit my friend who's in the town where my parents live because she's just bought a house. I haven't yet seen her. She's moved in like two, three months ago. Um, and she actually came around to see my house, which I only rent. Um, actually last week, I had a couple of girls around for Christmas Christmas drinks and Christmas meal, which was really nice. Um, but honestly, apart from that, I haven't really made any specific plans. I probably will go, um, my sister will probably come visit as well as New Year's Eve, because I know we both want to go see the film last Christmas, so we might go and do that. Um, but yeah, honestly, apart from that, I haven't really made any plans. I kind of just make them as I go and see what everyone's up to. Uh, like I said, because I do a lot of shifts leading up to Christmas, I, I just take it as my time to kind of relax a little bit. Um, but yeah, so no, those are kind of my only plans I've got for the holidays. Okay, so the next question is, how can you make sure your eyes don't crease when you've got oily lids? I am desperately struggling. Um, so I don't know... Oh, hello. So it depends what you're using as a base at the moment. So I don't know whether you use a primer at the moment or if you just go straight with eyeshadow or use concealer. I would always recommend if you've got an oily lid to use a base. It's like with, um, and definitely like a primer or something because if you've got oily skin like me, you want to go in with something to help it stick. And also it's the setting of the eyes as well. You kind of want to make sure you do. So um, like I said, I don't know if you use an eye primer or not but I would highly recommend using an eye primer as it just really helps kind of the eyeshadow to stick and last long throughout the day or what you can do and it may take a while as well to find the right eye primer for you I did that video of testing different green beauty 
um, eye primers and actually a lot of them didn't work for me the Lily Lolo one's the only one that did work out other ones I tried anyway and it's the one I still use today so do just have a play around with different eye primers what you may find if you've got really eye oily eyelids what I've um, you may want to use a concealer instead so if you've got concealer that you really really like that lasts well on your skin use that as a primer because I find um, concealers um, well depending on the formula set or a lot less creamier than an eye primer well some ones I've tried anyway um, so you might find that concealer will last a bit better or longer than an eye primer would and maybe set the eye primer or the concealer as well because that will just add an extra layer of setting it in place and what you can also do if you're using something like a shimmer on the lid spray some setting spray onto the brush with the eyeshadow so then when you put that shimmer on not only will it add intensity to the shimmer but it also will set that eyeshadow in place and kind of set the lid a little bit. Um, I wouldn't necessarily do it with the matte, so that's kind of a bit harder to do. Um, and it can make the matte eyeshadows look a bit funny on the um, eyes. But if you're definitely going with some shimmer, then do that. What you could also do, do is get a setting spray that you know works for your skin or works well. If you don't have one, again, just go, you might have to just try a few different ones to find you before you find the right one for you. But actually then if you go and close your eyes and spray, I'll do this before mascara. Go ahead and just spray lightly over them. That kind of setting spray will also hit the eyes and also help a little bit more there. So just try those things out and you will find something that works for you well, I think. Okay, so I really hope that was helpful. So next question. Okay, so the next question is from Emily. And she again has three questions. So the first one is favourite products you discovered in 2019. So I am actually planning on doing a 2019 makeup favourite, so I don't want to spoil it too much, but I will, I will say one product that I have definitely loved that I've discovered in 2019, and it's a very, very recent discovery, which is... Ether Beauty Amethyst Palette, for sure. This is a beautiful palette and beautiful shades in it as well. So I would say that, I'll just say that one, but yeah, I will be doing a 2019 um, favourites video. So stay tuned for that right at the end and you'll get to hear the rest of them. Um, the next question was brands you'd like to try in 2020. So I'd really, so I'd really like to try the brand Honest Beauty, which is Jessica Alba's beauty brand because I've heard so many good things and it looks like such pretty products as well and it's just a brand that I'd really like to try out I'd also love to try out something like I've never tried anything from Glossier I don't think and I have heard people say it's a really good brand um, as well um, what else oh Kosas as well I've never tried anything that I don't think I tried anything from Kosas and obviously that 10 second eyeshadow that I really want to try so that's another brand I'd quite like to try in 2019 or 2020 sorry oh and also the brand Fit Glow because I know so many people love Fit Glow and then to pick some which actually just the one where it's got the kind of multi-use body face hair nail paint situation for like more special effects stuff um and I know actually that my sister's picked up two for me to to try for Christmas. Um, she, I told her, she said, um, she's chosen the colours for those, so I have no idea which colours I'm getting, but you can get all sorts of colours with it. So I'm intrigued to do it, uh, see it and try it out and see what it's like. Yeah, just for like my special effects stuff. Um, but yeah, those are some brands I would like to try in 2020. Okay, so the next question is from Nikki Jane, and it says how to get loose mineral eyeshadows to stay put. They disappear when I wear them. So I have done a video, kind of, which was targeted at the Lily Lolo mineral eyeshadows. But to be honest, those are the only mineral shadows, loose mineral shadows that I have, apart from um, Silk Naturals, and I've also got one for Bare Face Beauty. 
but Lululemon is the one I use the most. And uh, yeah, it's like I said, I have done a video on how to get them to last well. And 100% you need a tacky base. There is no getting away from that. You have to have some form of tacky base. Whether that be a concealer unset or a primer, it needs something to cling on to. Um, so that's number one. And as I kind of mentioned in one of the previous questions about eyeshadow lasting, if it's a shimmer one, then add some setting spray to it. I only add setting spray or I, I dampen them if I want the intensity of the shimmer to be like, more intense. Um, I don't find that I need it to make it to last, but it will make it last a lot longer if you do that. Um, and especially with like a setting spray because it just set everything in place. Something I will say is because obviously the mineral eyeshadows I use the most, loose wise, are Lily Lolo. The eye primer I always use is Lily Lolo. So I don't know whether, um, so I don't know whether it's because I'm using products from the exact same brand that mine last perfectly fine. Um, so that's maybe something to bear in mind because I don't have a problem, as long as I've got a tacky base, I don't have a problem with them disappearing. Um, I may have kind of not so oily lids as potentially you might do. So those are just, um, so that is something to bear in mind. I am matching the primer to those eyeshadows. Um, so that could be another reason, but if you are someone who's struggling, maybe having a tacky base isn't enough, so just use setting spray on the brush with the shimmers will really help make them last and also intensify them. Um, and like I said with the previous trick, before you put mascara on, just go over and set in like a general way, so not on the brush, just in a general way, and the, the um, setting spray will just naturally land on the eyes and help set in place. Okay, the next question is from Estella. If you had to choose one or two products in each beauty category, which would you pick? Now again, I am going to do a 2019 favourites, but I will just quickly run through, I'll just pick one product from each and run through it quickly without giving too much explanation because like I said, I am doing a 2019 favourite. I'm pretty obvious because there's only really one that I would pick in each category anyway. Some are more like the eyeshadows. I do have selection ones I've really been loving. So obviously, like I said, stay tuned for the 2019 favourites. But to choose one from each one. So primer, Milk Hydro Grip Primer. Foundation slash concealer, Hint Beauty Concealer. Powder, I mean, I'll, I'm gonna pick the collection one because it's the one I'm using. I'm not necessarily, I don't find it amazing, but I don't find it bad. I'm kind of on the hunt. I want to try out the Hourglass and also the Hunsent Pure Bamboo one because those are two recommendations that I've been given. So I'm kind of waiting to try those. So powder, I guess I'd say the collection one, but it's, I'm sure there are better out there if that makes sense. It's just the one I have that I just use up. Um, what's after that? Powder. Bronzer, I'd say the Lily Lolo Sculpting Shade in the Sculpting Low Kit because it's definitely too warm to contour for me. I don't really contour anyway. So it works perfectly as a bronzer for me. Blusher, I would go Nip and Fab Blush Palette. Highlighters, I'm going to say the Lily Lolo Illuminators. In sh in the Champagne one's probably my favourite. But if you watch my last video, then you'll know there's some other ones I actually have now discovered that I love. But yeah, for now I'll say the Lily Lolo Illuminator in Champagne. Eyebrows, the Lily Lolo Eyebrow Duo. Eye Primer, Lily Lolo Eye Primer. Eyeshadows. Right, again, this is a tricky one because I have a lot of favourites, which you will see. But if I had to pick one right now, in this current moment in time, um, and it's one I've been using a lot at the moment, so it makes sense. You probably know the brand I'm going to say, but actually you might be surprised about the which of the palette I'm going to pick. So I put, I showed, when Emily's question, I showed you the Amethyst palette from Ether Beauty. However, if I only had to pick one palette at the moment, it'd actually be the Solstice one from Ether Beauty because I get a lot more wear out of it. Because it's kind of got more everyday colours, but also you can amp them up. As much as I love purple, if I only had to pick one, I think I would actually go the Solstice just because I seem to be getting a lot more use out of it at the moment. So that's that one. Don't really wear eyeliner. So I'll leave that. Mascara, Big Lash Mascara from Lily Lolo. Um, lips. Benacos Lip Liner in pink, in brown and Benacos Lipstick in pink, honey. 
Oh, and I did get a lot of a couple of recommendations to try out if I still can't get hold of the Hint Beauty Concealer. So thank you. I will bear that in mind. I've currently got this much. So I've actually, in the meantime, unless it if it doesn't come back in stock, then yes, I will go and pick up. I will actually try a few of your recommendations. But I've got this in my drawer, which is the Ordinary Serum Foundation, which I do like. So I'm going to, until I can get that, I'm going to use up this. Once this one runs out, um, or this runs out as a concealer, because I'm just trying to use this as a concealer as opposed to a foundation at the moment. Um, then yeah, I will actually try out your guys' recommendations, because I've had her a few. But I thought, as I'm trying to use up some of my makeup, I'll just use this for now and just use it up, and then it's done with. Um, so I thought that was just something I wanted to mention. So if you see me using a foundation at the moment, as opposed to my Hint Beauty Concealer, it is that one. So actually, on the, the shimmer here, I know I'm not talking through the products, but I did actually use the Pink Diamond Crush from Ether Beauty as a highlighter. And on my lids, I'm using pure Diamond Crush because I just think, look how beautiful it is. It makes such a beautiful eyeshadow. Because um, actually one of my comments on the previous video was, the very first one I got, was they say they think Pink Diamond suits you better. And I probably would agree, it probably does, because I'm, I think because everyone, I always use my Lily Lola ones, which is very similar, and it kind of just meshes into my skin a bit better, whereas this does have a little bit of shimmer to it. So it's more noticeable on the skin. So I think I agree. I do actually overall prefer the pink one for an actual highlighter. But this diamond crush for an eyeshadow is stunning. So I do have two more questions left. One is from Lenka. Um, and she asks, do I make any Christmas cookies? And the answer to that is, I do not. I am not much of a baker. If I'll be honest with you. I've done occasionally to have at my boss at work, but cakes don't go well. I think it's that oven. Either it cooks too fast on the outside and inside is still not right, or yeah, it just it never goes well for me baking. I'd much rather cook than bake. Um, so I don't. My mum will make her own mince pies and her own jam tarts for Christmas. Um... But no, I don't do any form of baking, unfortunately. No, sorry. Um, the only thing that I've mastered baking-wise is a lemon and blueberry loaf. And that always turns out, now I've got that sussed, that always turns out well for me. But yeah, unfortunately, baking and me, we don't really work. So this is from Moonlight, and it's again three in one question. I like it. So the first one is, do you do some kind of sport? I do not do any kind of sport, unfortunately. I probably should. Or at least be do some form of exercise. The thing is, I'm on my feet almost every day with my job. So that's kind of my form of being active. Um, but no, I probably, I should. At school, I didn't mind doing sport. Like, rounders was definitely my favourite. Because that was a great one. But, I mean, that's just hitting a ball. So it's not really being that active as such. But, um... But no, I don't really. I and used to enjoy playing badminton as well. Badminton a bit. Um, but... Since, probably since leaving school, I don't really participate in um, sport activities. I do occasionally try and do like the old work, like workout at home or whatever. But no, in that front, I'm really bad at that. But like I said, I am on my feet all the time for work. So that's kind of my form of being active. So, but no, I really should do more exercise in general. But no, so I, no sport from me, unfortunately. Second question, how tall are you? I am five foot seven, I believe. Last time I checked, I was five foot seven. I might have shrunk, I don't know. Which I think is probably about the average height, or maybe just above the average height, but yeah. But, and the third part that they put was, um, would you do some fashion videos like you did in the past? I really like those. So I don't think I've done, I have this year, I don't think I've done any. I did, obviously the whole Strictly thing, two years ago, and then I did, leading up to Christmas, did a few Christmas outfits and a few um, New Year's Eve things as well, but no, um, I mean, I, well, if you want me to, I can maybe start doing, incorporating a more kind of a whole piece, so makeup, hair and outfit, um, but I'm not very fashionable, I will be honest with you, I like my kind of set clothes and I kind of stick with them. Like, for example, um, 
the dungaree, the cord dungaree dress that I'm planning on wearing tomorrow for Christmas. I've got that in like that same style in three different colours and I've got one in a different style in another colour and I've got two denim dungaree dresses because they are probably one of my favourite things to wear. And again, I've got this cool skirt I really like so I picked it up in about three other colours. So I kind of, um, I am a creature of hope when it comes to clothes. Um, so yeah, if you want me to actually, I could do like a mini get ready with me tomorrow, kind of like old like kind of old school. So you, I'm not going to talk through it, maybe just do music in the background. And I could do makeup hair and show you my outfit I'm going to wear Christmas Day. Um, and if you do want me to incorporate more kind of fashion videos, or kind of just incorporate them into the makeup look, then I can definitely do that. Like I said, I'm just not very fashionable, so, and I wear the same things all the time. So that is that. So that is this Q&A done. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the makeup look, even though I wasn't really talking through it, but it's quite a standard smoky eye and that highlighter works so beautifully as a shimmery eyeshadow and a red lip. So very festive related. Um, if you've got any more questions that I didn't answer, um, and you still want to ask me, then just ask them in the comments below. I'll obviously answer those for you. Um, yeah, let me know if you want that mini get rid of me that I'll do tomorrow. Um, and I'll put it up probably Boxing Day or maybe even late Christmas Day, who knows. Um, so that's my last video before Christmas now, I think. Um, so I really hope everyone has a wonderful Christmas. I know not for everyone they get to spend time with their family and friends over Christmas, whether it be working or just certain circumstances. And I know not it's not everyone's favourite time of year and it can be quite lonely for some. But I'm sending everyone all my love and I hope you all stay safe and just yeah have a lovely Christmas if you can. Yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.